do have, I, I, you know, before I give you the, the latest information from the National Weather Service, look at this. This is uh, the tornado last night. That's in the funnel cloud, so it's it's in the formation right now. But uh, Matthew Eccles uh, tweeted us this. So again, we have a rotation aloft, a rotating wall cloud. Then we start to see the funnel. Uh, we don't have video of the actual funnel touching the ground. That's when it becomes a tornado technically, but we can certainly see the evolution and certainly see the funnel cloud before it became a tornado. A little condensation funnel right there, then it would extend a little bit farther down to the ground. But anyway, that's the way it looked last night before it touched the ground. This one uh, also came from uh, Lonnie Norton, and you can see the funnel cloud right here. Once again, I can't see the uh, funnel touching the ground, but nonetheless, you, you see what I'm talking about. And one more uh, picture here, pretty well defined. Coach Desern tweeted us this last night. So that's the way it looked up in Leonard. That's southwestern Fannin County. Uh, what happened here across North Texas? We were all clear last night other than the hail. There's the tornado. Southwestern Fannin. There's McKinney just off to the northeast there. And what was it? An EF1. Winds of 90 to 95. The investigation is still ongoing as to how far the path was, how wide the path was. But we do know that it had winds estimated of 90 to 95. And when you look at that damage right there, it's, it's obvious uh, just how strong that system was. So once again, that's video of the uh, funnel cloud last night that eventually became a tornado in Leonard. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll have more on more rain on the way. We need the rain. But we have another threat of severe storms as well. That full forecast coming up.